Hi guys, welcome to RC Nerd 74. Today's video is all about wing twist on RC planes. Um, so we are talking about the main wing of the plane. The issue you can have is that your left and your right wing are not perfectly aligned on the same angle or the wing itself, one half of the wing or both are twisted uh, in the construction. So they are not perfectly built. This issue leads to uh, roll movement of your plane to the left or to the right. So I give you a short tutorial how you can fix this behavior because if you leave it like this, you have ailerons which are not trimmed to zero position, to center position, but they are off center. And to get a perfect clean setup of your plane, you want your ailerons on a center position. This tutorial works for all the planes which are built like the Pilot RC laser you can see here. So you have two wings, the left one and the right one, and they are connected on both sides to the fuselage. So you can easily change the angle of the wing on the fuselage. If you have a plane which has a wing on top or on bottom and it's one piece, or uh, you just put it on top or onto the bottom of the fuselage, then it's a uh, little bit more difficult to adjust the things I do uh, on this tutorial. But for planes like this, this works absolutely perfect. Before we jump into the tutorial, I like to say big thanks to today's video sponsor, which is PCBWay. PCBWay supports you worldwide with professional industrial quality for PCB manufacturing, for 3D printing and CNC machining. So visit their website to check out uh, all the current offers and great products they can do for you and enjoy the world of your own projects with support from PCBWay.com. So now let's dive into the tutorial. First of all, you have to think about your elevator because if you change the angle of your wing, you also affect your elevator. So you, if you move your wing up, the plane will go up. If you move your wing down, the nose down, the plane will go down. So this affects the trim of your elevator. If you have a perfectly trimmed elevator and you see G, everything is fine, then you always have to change the angle of both wings. So one wing up and one wing down, because if you only move one wing up or one wing down, you have to trim the elevator. And if your elevator is already perfectly set, you change your elevator and it won't be off center. The opposite is when your elevator is not perfectly centered and you have to do this correction. So you can check what position your elevator is and it depends on the position of the elevator if you have to move your wing up or down. First of all, let's have a look only at the wing. Later then we go to the elevator too. Um, if your ailerons are trimmed on the right side down and on the left wing up to make your plane fly straight, you have to move your right wing down. So easily said, always move your trailing edge, so the rear end of the wing, in the direction where your aileron is offset. So if your aileron looks down, you have to move your wing down. If your aileron looks up, you have to move your wing up. So always the trailing edge. The trailing edge has to move in the direction where the aileron looks. How much you have to trim this is the try and error. So I would recommend to start with about one millimeter. You cannot be that wrong with one millimeter. It depends on the size of the plane and on the size of the ailerons. So there is no solution how much you have to change your wing position, your wing angle to make it fit perfect. So it's try and error. You have to do it perhaps two, three times until you have the perfect setup and no more wing twist or at least eliminated the effect of your wing twist. When we now have a look at the elevator too, so if your elevator is trimmed up to make your plane fly straight, 
you want your elevator to have in a neutral position so you trim your elevator down and you expect your plane to fly straight but when you just trim your elevator down the nose of your plane will go down so to avoid this you have to lift the leading edge of the wing up the trailing edge down so you just have to check on which side you can do this in my opinion it was exactly this so the elevator was trimmed up so my plane flew straight when i trimmed it neutral the nose went down and i had the situation that my right wing the aileron was trimmed down i had to move the right wing on the trailing edge down nose up so i have elevator effect so it lifts the plane so i can release the trimmed position of the elevator and correct this retrim of the elevator with the right position of the wing if this fits perfect this is also not guaranteed so you can just go uh, closer to a perfect setup in my opinion i was lucky and it fitted really almost 100 percent but you can at least reduce the issue you have on the elevator when it's trimmed down or up when your plane flies straight so now there are four solutions you can do so trimmed up elevator and the right aileron is trimmed down move the trailing edge of the right wing down like this you lift the plane you correct your wing twist on the main wing and you work against the offset trimmed elevator when you have the same situation but the plane rolls the opposite side so your left wing has the aileron down when your plane goes straight then you have to do the same on the left wing so trailing edge down leading edge of the wing up you correct your wing twist and you work against the offset trimmed elevator which is trimmed up when your elevator is trimmed down offset then you have to do the opposite so you have to check which wing your aileron is trimmed up and with this wing you have to move up so like this only correcting the wing on one side works against wing twist and moving the trailing edge up and the leading edge down of the wing gets the nose down because your elevator is trimmed down and you trim it to neutral when you trim it from down to neutral you, the nose of your plane will go up so with moving the leading edge down the trailing edge up of the wing your nose goes down again so that works against so like this you will be closer to perfect or if you're lucky you will even be perfect with your setup so if you have the uh, right wing which is the aileron trimmed up and your elevator is trimmed down move the trailing edge of your right wing up and the opposite if you have the left wing with aileron trimmed up move the left wing up and trim the elevator to neutral and like this you're as close as possible to a perfect uh, setup so <laughs> it's a bit tricky but i hope i can illustrate you a bit how i mean this and on my side i really used it uh, two or three times already on different aerobatic planes and every time it works absolutely great so i'm happy with the modification also on the laser on the 60 inch laser from pilot rc so now let's jump into the modification video so i recorded the steps i did so you can see a bit better what really happened the first step on the modification was to change the position of the holes on the right wing i had to move the trailing edge of the wing of the right wing down so this is the front hole you can see here this is the rear hole you can see here 
to get uh, some play in the wing and like this uh, you can adjust the position later. What you also have to check is that your um, fast lock system still works so all, have, all mechanics have to still work also if you change the position of the wing. Then I taped the increased holes to make it possible to fill up the holes with a 5 minute epoxy. The reason for this is that I want to drill clean round new holes. So I closed the made holes with epoxy, also the old shape of the holes, everything was closed. Then I taped the glued holes to mark the position. So I need to be sure that I drill the holes at the right position. So I had to mark the, the position of the rods on the wing. So I'm sure that I drill on the right position and make the markings with anything. Then I drilled the holes and this should more or less fit after the first drilling, but you still have to check if it 100% fit. In my case, I had to drill four millimeter holes, but usually at the first uh, test, it won't fit perfect. So as you can see, I wasn't able to put in the wing on the first try. So I had to change a little bit uh, the shape of the new holes, but wasn't a big deal just uh, some adjusting on sanding until the wing fits perfectly and smooth and also with no play in the fuselage. This is the final look of the holes so all look clear and on the rear end I had to change the position of the hole about two millimeters which is more than expected and on the front hole which is closer to the to the rotation point it's 1.2 millimeters. Then it was ready for maiden flight with the change position and you can see the plane already rolled to the left on the start. I didn't trim the ailerons to neutral position but left it in the, in the wrong positions I had before the modification so I could feel if the plane really reacts to the modification and I have to retrim the um, ailerons to zero position and I really had to trim a bit so I trimmed it until it felt well. I also had to trim the elevator so that was the torture that I had to trim the elevator closer to the perfect uh, angle difference from elevator to the wing so everything felt good after a few passes with different speeds um, everything felt okay and then I was ready for a check. So I landed the plane and had a look at the result, how the position of the ailerons and also the elevator is after the modification. And to be honest, I'm really happy with the result. So here you can see a first look and you can see the ailerons are really flat no more angle difference and here a closer look to the final position of the ailerons. So this uh, pretty massive correction of two millimeters uh, was uh, needed to get a really nice uh, aileron position. Also on the elevator you can see all is flat now so the elevator is exact the same angle as the horizontal stabilizer so the modification was worth it and the plane feels really neutral and great now. This is it for today's tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any inputs or questions about the tutorial leave your comments on the video. If you want to see some airtime of the 60 inch uh, laser from Pilot RC, just stay tuned and have a good time. See you in the next one. Happy flying. Bye bye.